Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss combining selectors that is CSS combination selector. It is possible to combine a selector with other selectors to make more specific selection. We already know the syntax of CSS rule set that is we write selector in flower brackets, we put declaration list. To combine selectors in place of a selector without using any separator, we don't use any separator, no space, no comma, nothing, no separator. We write selectors one beside another from generic to specific selector. This is the syntax of combination selector friends. We write one selector, beside that we write another selector. We don't use any separator. In flower brackets, we put declaration list. Remember that combination selector help you to make more specific selection and apply styles on them. Now here we have an example. You can combine a tag selector and class selector. You can combine a tag selector with ID selector to make more specific selection. You can combine a class selector with attribute selector. That means you can put one selector beside another selector to create a combination selector without using any separator. Here I have some examples like I am using here h1 which is a tag selector. Beside that without any space I have written dot red border which is an example of a class selector right. Here again we have a p tag that's a tag selector then dot red border which is a class selector. One more example here dot red border which is a class selector in brackets we have a line equal to left which is actually an attribute selector. So we can combine one selector with another selector to create a combination selector and make much more specific selection and apply styles on them. Now we see the demonstration. Let me minimize this document. I go to start say notepad then I click on notepad. You can see the notepad got open and here I write typical HTML5 structure. So I write less than exclamation mark doc type HTML. Then I write opening HTML tag lang equal to en. Then I say closing HTML. Then I write here opening head tag. Then I write closing head tag, opening body tag, closing body tag. And in the head section I write meta char set equal to utf8 close. I save the file, file save as, I save the file at desktop with the name default.html. Both sides I put double quotation and click on the save button. I minimize the notepad, you can see the default.html page got created. I right click on it, open with the Firefox. You can see that default.html page got open. Now I set the title. Let me set the title here. So I write title and then I say here combination selector demo then I say closing title file save go to browser and refresh you can see combination selector demo got displayed next in the body tag I create some h1 so here I say h e a d i n g heading 1 text closing h1 then below that I create a paragraph I say here paragraph 1 text closing p tag then I copy this both paste down and I say here heading 2 text, paragraph 2 text, again I paste down, here I say heading 3 text, paragraph 3 text, again I paste down, here I say heading 4 text, paragraph 4 text, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see heading 1, paragraph 1, heading 2, paragraph 2, heading 3, paragraph 3, heading 4, paragraph 4 got displayed on the screen. File, save, go to browser, refresh. Now I want to apply some styles. So I go to heading section and say here style tag type equal to text or CSS. Then I say here closing style 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 tag. Now we need to understand very carefully. Okay, let's start. What I want actually is I want to apply the red border for all headings. So we can use a tag selector, right? I'm talking about every H1 tag. So simply we say here H1 and then in flower brackets we write border of 2px solid red semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see all headings are having the border set to red color similarly maybe I want for every paragraph the border should be red color 
Then again, I am talking about every paragraph. So I use a tag selector. I write here P tag, opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket. And there I say border of 2px solid and red semicolon. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see all paragraphs have the red border. Now you can observe that the code redundancy is happening here, right? Both of them have the same or a common style. What we can do is we can group, right? We can group these to one selector that is group selector. I write here H1 comma P and I delete this with that we can reduce the code redundancy. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We are getting the same output. What if somebody told that these two heading and paragraph should have the border in red. These two also might have uh, the border red and these two should have um, green border and last two should have um, blue border. What you do now? I cannot use the tag selector, right? We have to group. We have to group all these four HTML elements into a red border class. So we need to take help of class selector. I am going to delete these things from here. I create one class called as red border opening flower bracket closing flower bracket and there I say border of 2px solid red semicolon file save go to browser and refresh all are having default CSS now here I add the class so I say here class and then I say here red b o r d e r border file save go to browser and refresh heading one text has the red border. Similarly for this paragraph also I want same thing. So I write here class and I say red p o r d e r double quotation file save go to browser and refresh. You can see the paragraph one text also has the red border. Now these two elements are in one class red border. I want these two also in the same. I copy this code and paste for h1 as well as paragraph two file save go to browser and refresh so heading one text has the red border paragraph one text has the red border heading two text has the red border paragraph two text has the red border all of them are in one group or a class called red border as i told these two should have green border so i create another class dot g r w -E and green border and there i say border of 2 pixel solid green semicolon and this green border I'm going to copy and paste here say class equal to green border I copy this code from here and paste for this paragraph also file save go to browser and refresh so heading 3 text and paragraph 3 text both are having the green border and we left with one more which is going to have a blue border so I can create a class called as blue border similarly here also I say class equal to blue border and I say here in CSS dot blue border flower brackets and I say here border of 2px solid blue semicolon file save go to browser refresh you can see that heading 4 text and paragraph 4 text have the blue border interesting now we know how to use tag selector group selector class selector what if your customer tells you that uh, I want the heading one text and heading two text should have a background color set to cyan now what solution you have for this problem what do you think actually of course I cannot use the tag selector because tag selector sets the style to every heading right is it possible to use the ID selector no because ID selector is used for uniquely identifying the element and applying style. Here we want to apply style to heading one text and heading two text. Is it is possible to use the class selector? Here I have told dot red border, but dot red border is used by heading paragraph heading paragraph. So if I write some style here, if I write here a background color cyan, then heading one text paragraph one text heading two text paragraph two text all are going to have the background color cyan. You can see that background dash color cyan semicolon file save go to browser and refresh all of them have a background color sign that means this is not the correct solution so how do i apply the background color sign to heading one text and heading two text now what i can do is i can create one more class 
I can say here dot sign BG. So I can use sign BG like that. And then I say here background dash color sign semicolon. Then I can use sign BG in heading one text paste here. Similarly, heading two text space paste here. Now heading one text and heading two text have two classes. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see only heading one text and heading two text have now the background color set to sign. What if you have 100 headings? That means you have to paste this sign bg, sign bg to 100 HTML headings, right? 100 heading places you have to go and apply the style. So this is not a good solution. To make it a good solution, what we can do is we can use combination of selectors. Combining selectors will help you to make much more specific selection. Let me remove this code also. Okay, I'm removing this code. Now what I do, I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. This time what I do means I write a code, the class red border. Now here we are combining a tag selector as well as a class selector. And then we say here background dash color of cyan semicolon file save this time what happens this h1 has the red border and this h1 has the red border class only these two are going to have a background color sign you are telling a h1 tag which has the class set to red border file save go to browser and refresh you can see that right it's interesting so that is how you can use the combination selector friends. You can combine a tag selector with the ID selector. You can combine a class selector with the attribute selector. Let's take an example of, I say here, maybe for this paragraph, last paragraph, what I do is I use the attribute ALIGN align, maybe right, R-I-G-S-T, right. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can observe here at the bottom, Paragraph 4 text is aligned to the right. Okay. And it has the blue border class. So what I do here, I say to the system that locate a paragraph which has blue border and it has a line set to right close. And that should have the background dash color set to yellow semicolon file save go to browser and refresh if you observe paragraph 4 text has the background color yellow you can see here i have used the combination of tag selector then the class selector then the attribute selector i haven't discussed yet the attribute selector i discuss about attribute selector in detail in the later video tutorials here i just demonstrating you how you can combine these selectors to create a combination selector and you can make much more specific selection. I hope you guys have understood how do we make a combination selector and how it is useful. So remember that to implement combination selector in place of a selector without using any separator, we write selectors one beside another from generic to specific selector. Syntax of the combination selector is selector 1, selector 2, selector 3 and so on. In flower brackets, you put the declaration list. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. I hope you guys have understood combination selector. I suggest you people to try this, understand thoroughly. Okay. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.